everyone, this is Jessica Washington and I'm kinda here with another Tea Talks for you. I'm gonna answer just a couple of questions that people have when they talk about moving to Dubai to teach and those teacher accommodations. In fact, for this video, I brought in some of my friends and we're actually gonna give you video our accommodations. But before that, I wanna make sure that there's a couple of things that you understand. Number one, each and every accommodation is different depending on who your employer is. So even though we're showing you our accommodation, it's not a promise that your host housing or home is going to look exactly like ours. I'm really just giving you an aesthetic of what a bedroom or apartment can look like here in Dubai and also kind of calm your fears. Like majority of the places are pretty decent and look a lot like what we're used to back home. The other thing I want to talk about is that Dubai is different from Al Lane, and it's different from Abu Dhabi and it's different from Frigera. So you cannot make all of your assumptions based upon what you see in Dubai. In fact, even the way they handle their salaries, their contracts, all of that's different. And that's one reason why T Talks is focused on Dubai. You can get an idea and understanding, but that's all this is. It's just an opportunity to look and check it out. So thank you so much for all of those who opened up their doors to show the accommodation. And that's one other little bitty piece. You're gonna see some people who have their housing provided by their school. You're gonna see others, kind of like myself, who get a housing stipend. So we're able to purchase the type of house that we want, but in our contract, we have a certain amount that's given to us for us to be able to spend on our housing. Now, if you do have housing accommodation, there is a video about money in Dubai that's done season one, where we talk a lot about all of it, things that has to happen in order for you to get your housing. But do know that you pay for gas, you pay for utilities, you might pay for chiller if you have that type of situation. And the deposits and the way that the deposits run and rent can run is a lot different from in the US or UK. Sometimes you pay month every six months, I'm sorry, you pay rent every six months or you could pay it every three months. Once again, it deals with your landlord and what you have to understand and be able to do. But without any further notice, go ahead and let's check out these accommodations coming. So let's give you a quick tour of the apartment. This is from the front door. So as we walk in, we see a half bathroom right here. Nice little half bath. And as we come out, take you out to the kitchen area. These are all wonderful things provided by my school to get me started. Fridge, stove, washing machine. Got some couches. My life. And a nice view. I won't be keeping this open too much though because it radiates heat. And we need to keep it nice and cool in here. Now off to this is like the bedroom area. We have a full bath. Walk-in shower, <clears throat> another mirror. I move some things around, so if it doesn't make sense to you, it makes sense to me. I move the dining room table here for my office table, bed, and another awesome view. So that's a quick run through on the house. I am on the second floor of my building. Very nice, clean, 24 hour security. They're very helpful and kind. And going into my apartment, I am in a one bedroom, one and a half bath, fully furnished accommodation. So when you first come in, you have your half bath. And I love the open concept. You have your kitchen, and it came fully furnished, of course. So normally here you have to buy a washer, a stove, and a refrigerator when you buy an apartment, but this came with them already, plus um, some pots, pans, dishes, 
a kettle and a microwave and then I supplied everything else. Um, they did provide a chair in the living room and a couch and a table, but I put their furniture outside and bought my own furniture as well. And heading on out, we do have two balconies. This is one of two. This is the furniture they gave me, so I just kind of put that out there. Here's my view of Silicon Oasis, which is a very nice area, totally safe, clean, um, has plenty of grocery stores, I have a restaurant in my building, a laundry service, a nail salon downstairs, so that is very convenient and helpful. And heading back on in. go to the bedroom decent size um, they provided a bed the work desk a vanity um, but the mattress they provided was very very thin and I don't know if that's very common here or not but I just purchased my own closet space is pretty small I'm coming from a huge walk-in closet in the States to something very, very tiny. So I just purchased added storage here, which helped. And you have two sides, this side and another one. So there's that. I actually put my luggage out there because there's not enough space, but you do have another balcony off of the bedroom. And then a bathroom, full bath there. So that is my one bedroom, one and a half bath apartment. I was really pleased when I came in. It was nice and clean and they, they pretty much treated us very well. <laughs> All right, so I'm at a private school in Alwarka. So I have a one bedroom accommodation. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm storing things for a teacher friend who is moving to a different apartment, so I have extra furniture in here right now. Uh, but real quick, this is the bathroom by the front entryway, standard toilet in Dubai. You have your bidet, your toilet, your sink, mirror, lights, lights. Um, mine was furnished, so it came with this table. This table was used during distance learning. Uh, will be used again for discerning if we continue with that. Came with three couches, brown couches, again standard. Um, white table over there, storage for the friend who's leaving. It came with this white table here. That white table is also, again, the friend who is leaving. A lot of the furnishings, like this nice set over here, came from a website called Dubizzle that also is an app. Um, the standard Dubai gold curtains. Dubizzle is like Craigslist, uh, for those of you who need not hear. Really nice items inexpensively because people are always leaving. This is my balcony. Um, there's always construction, hence this right here. Okay, um, my accommodation is on the end of the building, so I have a separate washroom for my stuff. So this is the washing machine that came with the unit. Again, um, you don't get much storage here. So I have things stored in here. Okay, uh, onto the kitchen. Pretty standard. Um, I had to get mine replaced. So this is a bigger cooker than you would normally get. We call them ranges in the States. But we have cabinets, a hood, cabinets, appliances I purchased. Mine did come with a kettle though. Uh, your handy dandy fire extinguisher. Your gas connection, you have to cut it on every time you cook. Uh, standard kitchen, like I said, for most people in the building, their washing machine is right here in this cubby. Um, again, I'm fortunate being at the end of the building to have mine not in the cubby. Um, standard refrigerator, it's not as big as the ones we're used to back home. 
um, my bedroom. My bedroom is actually bigger than most, but really quick. Um, the master, rather your private bathroom, you have a tub, shower, again, standard bidet toilet, and then uh, onto the bedroom. Mine doesn't have much storage. I have this. And this for storage um, depends on what unit you're in and things like that. Some friends have double storage and triple storage. So I had to make storage. Um, purchased came with dresser, um, full size or well, queen size bed, and then two nightstands. Again, had to make storage, make storage, and the other side of the balcony and the view. Um, as I said, my apartment is one of the bigger ones in the building because I'm at the end. So there's that. Hi, my name's Emma and this is my residence. I live downtown um, in a place called Old Town. I'm just going to switch the video around because I'm outside the ground. And there you have it. So this is just like a beautiful oasis and considering we're smack bang downtown, there's a Burj Khalifa, you can't hear anything. All of the buildings are old, these old style buildings. Here is the swimming pool and we're going to go along to my building. So as you can see, you can't, there's no noise. Um, at night it's all lit up um, beautifully. Um, so yeah, here's the Rayhan pool because I live in Rayhan, one of the Rayhan buildings. And yeah, it's just a quiet oasis and I'm very happy living here. So I'll explain a bit more once I get to my door. So here we are at the entrance to my actual building. Ignore the dog in the background. And as you can see, it's looking very plush. Um, all of the buildings have got card entry to get in. Um, and then you can get access from the basement where the car park is. And welcome to my crib. I opened it with a key. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna put some lights on. So this, um, I chose to move to this area just because I wanted to live downtown. I was in staff accommodation for, turn it back to me. I was in staff accommodation for two years. This is like my third year um, living in Dubai and um, I decided in my third year to take the housing allowance, which meant that I could now live in an apartment. So this is a one bed and a study downtown. Um, so you've seen the front door. So in here, um, so in here you've got a spare powder room and then there's also a washing machine area and storage. And then here's just like where you can, I've just got a nice shoe rack. In here it's a bit messy, but it's just lucky enough that it's actually a one bed study. I've just got a wardrobe in here, some extra shoes and some bits. Um, so that's the study. Then in here we've got a really nice kitchen fitted out. It comes with a dishwasher, um, white goods, hob. And then it also comes with a built-in fridge and freezer um so yeah and then you've got your oven so the all of these apartments come with a built-in wash um dishwasher fridge freezer and also the washing machine then here we have the living dining area so we've got a nice dining area here um living area here tv place here 
I was lucky enough that I bought, took furniture from school, so like all of the brown goods here are from, I bought from my old apartment. And then in here we have the bedroom, as you can see. Um, nice and spacious, nice views. And then with an ensuite bathroom. And then finally, we are lucky enough to have a balcony, which overlooks Southridge Green. So just get a chance to do all your laundry. But yeah, at, of an evening, you've got loads of people out and about and you see people doing exercise. Um, and then people just come out when it's not so hot. So yeah, that is downtown. Um, yeah, I, if you get the chance to take the housing allowance, I would highly recommend it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being in staff accommodation. My one was a bit too far out for my liking. And this, it, where I am now is about the same distance as to school as it was um, when I was in staff accommodation. But it's just nice being downtown. You're so central and everywhere is more or less on your doorstep. Anyway, that's it from me.